Hello, Jim Hodges here, Grace Jones here. Grace is a German short-haired pointer puppy. She's here for our residency program, basically learning what it takes to become a puppy, a good puppy now, and a better dog as she gets older. We go through all the on-leash and off-leash obedience and address behaviors, and basically what this is is a video resource guide to give you an idea of the commands, the hand signals, the consequence, the praise, all of it rolled into a quick, short little video. So without any further ado, we're going to start working her. For those of you who don't know, German Short Hair Pointer is a, normally a very smart dog, Grace is, and it's a hunting dog. It's a versatile hunting dog, which means squirrels, birds, cats maybe. Uh, she's completely turned on by prey animals. That's her instinct. We want to allow her to have her instinct when she's a dog, but when she's working for us, she needs to pay attention to us first and do what we ask. The very first thing we're gonna do on the, on the uh, on leash commands are the let's go. The let's go is where she walks with us on a leash leash. She's not pulling, she's not uh, going where she wants to go, she's listening to us and following along with us. When we do that, we want her walking right beside us to begin with. The reason we want her walking beside us is twofold. One, when she's out in front, she's leading the way and she can become more distracted uh, by all of those little critters and anything else that may come up in life. The other thing, when she's out in front of us, we cease to be a good checks and balance if she does get in trouble, if she does want to try to act on that squirrel or that bird that she sees. Okay? So, listen to my tone of voice. Watch what I do with my leash whenever I need to do something. Grace, you ready? Let's go. Hear the tone? Good girl. When she does what we ask, we praise her. We can turn, we can do whatever, we can walk as fast as we want to go, and we can walk as slow at a girl we want to go, and she has to walk with us. Now, if she got behind me and was sort of sluggish, I would do my best, come on girl, motivate her, get her going, good girl. If she got in front of me, I would tap, good girl, I would tap back parallel to the ground on the leash. If I was going this way and she wanted to go that way, I would tap the leash this way. When I tap the leash on let's go or any of my commands, I will uh, tell her no or eh. And the reason I want to do that, I want to create the association that the tap of the leash is a bot. We're speaking that dog language. Good girl. Notice I didn't really have to tap the leash, but we probably will get that chance here in a few minutes and you'll get to see how I react and how she reacts. Let's go. Sit, hand signal for sit, good girl. When we tell her to sit, she has to sit. She has to hold that sit until we release her. Now, if I was gonna have her in a stationary command for a while, it would probably be down. I hate to put dogs in a sit more than a minute or two minutes because I just believe it's a lot more uncomfortable as the down would be. Let's go. Good girl. If she, sit. Now let's just say, good girl, always try to praise, words in touch. When she does what we ask, we can also use a treat from time to time. I don't mind you using a treat a little bit, but I don't want you to use it all the time. I want her obeying you because you ask her to. There is a time right now that we want to use a treat virtually any time, and that's the come command, especially off leash, and I'll talk about that in your booklet. So she's in a sit. If she got up right now, I would tap the leash, no, tap up, sit, and then when she did it, I'd come back and praise her. Wouldn't get mad, I'd just say, eh, no, sit, good girl. Let's go, sit. She has to sit whether I'm still or not. I don't have to give the hand signal. Break is the release command, sit, good girl, good girl, break, let's go. The next thing that we would be doing would be the sit, the D-O-W-N command, there are two hand signals for D-O-W-N. One is from the side and one is from in front. And the reason there are two different hand signals is so that she can see it better. My tone goes from positive, sit, let's go, to a little more inflection, down. Good girl. Same with sit, she has to hold that command until I release her, okay? If she popped up now, I would tap the leash towards the ground, no, down, okay? With her and with our visits that break, with our visits that we have, you've got to be uh, 
matter of fact when you tap that leash for the down so she doesn't try to take advantage of you and crawl on you. Another thing that we don't want her to do, and it's very instinctive and, and natural for German short hair pointers, is to smell the ground when we're working. You can call the shots for yourself, but I typically don't want that to happen. Okay, I want her to respect and listen to me. The other D-O-W-N, down, good girl, is that way. Now, down is an important command. When you give a down, you are, are letting her know that you're totally in control. It is an authoritative type command, and I think it's the command that you use in any situation where you absolutely must get her to do a command. If you had to put her in a command and then run over there for some reason, it would be down. It wouldn't be in sit. The other thing with the down is we can go stay. When I say stay, that tells her to pack her bag. She's got to be there for a while. She can roll over on her side. She can chew a bone. She can go to sleep. But she's going to be in that down stay command for at least two minutes. I very rarely do a sit stay, but I do a down stay all the time. Break. Good girl. Atta girl. I also you stay as a room command. As I go to walk out of a room, I might put my hand there and tell her stay. And I'm sorry, sweetheart. Tell her stay. And then go about doing my business. Come back in and praise her. If she came through the doorway, I would just take her by the leash or by the collar. She doesn't have the leash on. No, no, no. Stay. Good girl. Break. Good. Sit. The next come. Good girl. So you see, she's so attentive to me. Whenever she's watching us, I'm going to give her a little treat for that. Okay, when she's watching us, that's what we want. Keep in mind, she can get distracted real easily. So when she is ready to focus on us, we want to reward her. That reward may help. When I give the reward, it's good girl, and it's touch, and the treat. The next thing is the C-O-M-E command. There are two forms of the C-O-M-E command. Birds up above us. There went another one. Uh, there are two forms of the C-O-M-E command, one on leash and one off leash. We're going to talk about the one on leash. The hand signal is like this. Now, nah, sit. So you see, now I didn't tap the leash real hard because I think she might have gotten confused by my hand. Or it might be because she's not paying attention to me right now and thought I told her to down. But I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. So when we get ready to do the C-O-M-E, Grace, come. Good girl. She comes, sits, and she has to hold that sit until I release her. Again, come. Good girl. Break. Off leash, when we do that command, she doesn't have to sit. And we actually don't tell her to come unless she's already committed to coming or we, without a shadow of a doubt, know she'll come. And then there are also rules about it. When she does come, we have to make sure we pet her, praise her, pay her off, let her know how excited we are about what she did and how good she was. We're trying to engage her. And uh, we want to make sure that we do not by any stretch of the imagination, provide a consequence or something that uh, takes away from the fun of coming by putting her up, putting her in her crate, by punishing her. We don't want to do any of those things. When we get her to come, we want it to be the best thing in the world. Let's go. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Come. a girl. Break. Good girl. So now we're sit down, let's go. We've talked about stay. Another real good command is the P-L-A-C-E. When I give that command, it's for her to get on it. She can lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book. I don't care what she does. But that place command is a good place for you to get comfortable and her to get comfortable. You could be cooking. You could be watching television. You could be having guests over. You put her into place. She gets over there and chills. You're in control. She's listening to you, but is in a comfortable position. She can chew on a bone or what have you. If she gets off of it, we would grab a leash or take a collar and tap her back. No, no, no. Place. Notice the place. It's just like come and let's go. The taps, if we have to do them, are parallel to the ground. Break. Watch me point. Hand signal. Place. You know, she was already going to the place long before I said the word. One of the reasons we use hand signals is to help teach her to focus on us and to watch us a little bit more. Now, she's there until we tell her to get up. In the beginning, you'll be close, okay? But as you feel comfortable and know, you're going to get further and further away. Quite honestly, she can do a, a place inside our home 
for an hour or two pretty easily. Now, could she do a place out here for an hour or two? Possibly if we were close, but if we were any distance away until we started training it, the cats or the birds may start to encourage her to get up. If that happened, we would go get her, bring her all the way back, no, no, no place, and then go back to doing what we were doing. Break. Another thing I like to teach is the load up command. The load up is great to teach her to get into the car or truck, for example, get up on a piece of furniture if you want her on that furniture. Let's go. We do that with this stuff here. Now, I just don't arbitrarily let her jump up. They love it a lot, so sometimes they'll make that lunge for it. She didn't do it, which I'm proud of her for. So I'll tell her, good girl, sit. Good. Hop. Come on. Come on. Good. Now, good girl, break. Now, I could have tapped her for that, but she started it up. You know, we don't always, if I did tap her, it would have been very, very, very light. When they're trying to work, we want to give to them. We want to guide them and teach them. When they're being obnoxious and not paying attention, then we ah, it's a little bit more firm in what we do. I hope that makes sense. If not, pick up the phone. Any of you, not just uh, uh, Grace's parents, but any of you, pick up the phone, call me and ask me to explain a little more fully. So that's the load up command. I always have them sit first because I don't want them to come outside and run and go jump in the car or run and go jump on the furniture without us inviting them to. You know, bad things can happen when that occurs. We want them to understand that we're in control. So we've got come now, we've got sit, we've got down, we've got uh, place, we've got stay. Probably the next thing that, ah, no. So see the tap? Good girl, when she quit, I tap. The next thing would be the heel command. You remember our let's go command is a loose leash? It's always loose, and we can give her as much loose leash as we want. We can walk, let's go. With this much leash, we can give her this much. We can even make it short. But the purpose, it, the purpose of the heel command is in close areas, we have a rectangular box right beside us, and our job is to keep her in that box, okay? So here we go. You ready? Heel. I step, she comes right back into the box, stays right beside me. I stop, she sits. Good girl. And I can step off, and she has to stay in that until I release her. Heel. Notice I stepped away from her. Oh, no. Right back in. Now, did you notice? Good girl. Let's do it again. Heel. Good girl. One more time. Heel. Good. Cats are breaking by us and everything else. Break. Notice she flipped her rear end out on that heel. And I didn't get mad, didn't get angry, but I tapped her back in and repeated the command. Anytime our dog does something wrong and we're teaching and we're learning, if at all possible, we try to come back and proof that command. What does proofing that command mean? It means working and action, asking her to do the command correctly at least two, sometimes three times in a row. The heel, was, as I said, she was rectangular. Her butt had gone out. That's why we went back. The reason her butt went out is because she was watching me. So she actually made a mistake by trying to do the right thing. That's still no excuse. We get it back, do it right, and go from there. Notice when I have provided a consequence, I haven't gotten aggravated, I haven't gotten mad, that doesn't win you any points, okay? You've got to be a good, uh, solid leader when we're doing what we're doing. Good. See, the hand signals work fine. Sit. Let's go. Down. Good girl. Break. Good. She's a sweetheart. She has really got the uh, fundamentals down. Now what we have to do is practice, practice, practice. Work it as we want her in real life to do. We have to be cognizant of the fact that she is a hunting dog and those instincts are real, real strong and try not to put her in a position to fail but to succeed. The more we succeed, 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 the less chance of failure to occur. When it does, it should be easy to fix. We're trying to build a bond, we're trying to engage, we're trying to get her where she wants to do things with us and wants to obey. I thank you very much. 
If you have any questions, pick up the phone, call me, 336-945-3232. Uh, find me at jimhodgesdogtraining.com or on Facebook. Just search Jim Hodges Dog Training and I'm there. I really appreciate it. She was a little jewel. She's going to be a lot of fun. She gets to work. She goes home, but she also gets to work in an office all day. So if you're ever downtown Winston-Salem into the Winston Tower area, look for her walking the street, if nothing else. She'll be with her owner or owners, and hopefully she's going to be a good girl. Thank you so much. Take care. Great. Hi, girl. Good girl.